it all depends on your time frame decision the most critical decision as a trader which you need to come to conclusion at some stage is what time frame do i want to trade and what is the magnitude of moves that i want to target now for me personally i come to a conclusion that i'm going to target two types of moves one is a sh- short term 3 to 5 days move and within that 3 to 5 days i'm looking for a magnitude of 8 to 20% now that's one kind of a move and once you make that decision it opens up a lot of possibilities because in a year there are thousands of moves of 3 to 5 days where a stock goes up 8 to 20% and the second kind of move which i look for is really a move where i am trying to get into a move on an earnings day or what is called as an episodic pivot so where there is some sort of a catalyst and that catalyst has the ability or the catalyst is so strong that it will probably lead to the stock going up for 100% 200% or 300% now that's a different way of looking at trading and the move, why this particular decision is critical is you have to understand okay, look if you make a 3 to 5 days 8 to 20% magnitude decision versus you make a decision to only focus on stocks which are going to double or triple uh, it's going to re- give you different se- it will require different set of tools it will require different set of skills it will require different set of processes how you organize your day how you scan everything is going to be completely different and the mindset which is required is also different like and when i am looking for an episodic pivot i have a different mindset when i am looking for a short term 3 to 5 days move i am looking for a different mindset 3 to 5 days move dime a dozen right here in 2 days the stock is up 20% or 25% right and you can find so many moves like this if you just like and you know, look at like and you know, say um in the last 5 days stocks which i made a big move you'll see so many of them right and i mean in just a couple of days stock can make 40 50 100% moves also if they are lower priced but like in a dime a dozen move 3 to 5 days time frame you have a lot more opportunities for finding moves like that because so many moves happen which are of that magnitude and while if you decide that you are going to openly focus on stocks which are going to make 100% 200% 300% move in a year right and i told in this year you would have been like an there are only like a, as of now from the first top uh, the first day of trading you are looking at only around 20 opportunities right 20 or so stocks uh, which made that kind of a move so the decision which you can make the decision which you need to make if you want to be good at becoming a trader is the critical decision and which is going to determine the path which you are going to take is the time frame decision now when you look at this decision most of the people i talk to or who approach me they are looking for becoming finding those 100% 200% 300% movers they say oh i was just want want to trade i want to like and i just i am like in a busy i have so my job i have my wife i have another wife in my workplace or whatever they have right and they are very busy so they don't want to do this active trading and they want to look for is there anything wrong in it no but understand that the skills required to find a stock which is going to double and you being right in it 60% of the time 70% of the time is significant skill so if you want to do, go that path be willing to spend that kind of an effort and have that kind of an understanding of the market to understand what kind of stocks double triple and find an isolate a criteria which is likely to lead to a stock going up for year two years three years and if you can find that then you focus on that create a methodology scan for that keep an eye on those kind of stocks and you can find stocks like that i do look for stocks like that uh, that i'm not dependent on a year being made by those kind of stocks and i have done significant research on those kind of stocks also and i know what works in the longer run also but from an active trader perspective from somebody who makes a living out of trading the shorter term moves 3 to 5 days 
आर मोर प्रेडिक्टेबल शॉर्टर टर्म मूव्स आर मोर फ्रिक्वेंट शॉर्टर टर्म मूव्स रिक्वायर यू टू पुट अ वेरी यू कैन गेट अवे बाय पुटिंग अ वेरी वेरी क्लोज टॉप बिकॉज टाइमिंग इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट यू फाइंड दम एट द राइट टाइम एंड इफ यू कैन एंटर दैन यू कैन मेक एंड स्कैनिंग फॉर देम इज ईजी डूइंग थिंग्स फॉर देम इज ईजी the downside to that is because as the name suggests it's an active trading methodology so you have to babysit your positions you need to do lot more trades your cost of doing business in terms of commission and all can be higher and plus tax efficiency comes into play because if you're an active trader and if you're doing primarily 3 to 5 days kind of a move and you make money uh, you end up paying lot more taxes as against if you can hold a stock for a year plus kind of a thing so those are considerations are there but as somebody if you are currently not making enough money or you're struggling or you're making losses the first decision which you need to make as quickly as possible is a time frame decision because the moment you do a time frame decision then a pathway will open to you if you make a decision that i'm going to target only 3 to 5 days then there are many ways in which you can find those kind of trades if you take a decision that i'm going to become a long term position trader there are many pathways which are going to open to you and accordingly you will select a software you will select a scanning methodology or you will select a setup which is going to be cognitive uh, which go, is going to be working on that time frame so first decision if you are especially if you are a beginner trader or somebody who's been in the business for some time and been flirting from method to method is to make the time frame decision time frame is extremely important decision in your trading career